So here's what we're going to use now. We're going to work on the uh, the third page. You've already created a uh, uh, index page, the home page, which is called index.html, and then you worked on a uh, uh, kind of what I call the wrap, the topic wrap.html page. Uh, that the bottom below anything below the navigation changed and uh, kind of looks like the wrapped images page, but I had you create it from scratch so you could type out the code. Uh, now we're going to create something like this. Um, here's my banner. Here's the navigation. Uh, we have a small image that we've resized. We have a subheading. We have a paragraph of, I have two paragraphs of Latin text. You'll have, actually have multiple paragraphs of real content text. Um, we have what's called a drop cap on the first letter of um, the paragraphs. So it has a background color and it's all stylized and all that it has rounded curves. Um, and then we have on the on the right hand side we have another area that's separated by a little dotted border. If you can see that there, and then we have um, links, and these will be real links to more information about your topic, whatever you want to choose. I made ten, but uh, you can choose really how, how many uh, you know, ever you want. I'd say. I'd say at least eight. So, um, anyways, it uh, it's all fits and it's all nice and snug on a page. And then we have a little footer that I didn't really color. So that's what we're making. We're starting off. Um, let me see here. We're starting off with this. This is what again you saved a page for each of your four pages from your index when you first made the banner and the navigation. And we're starting out just like this. So you should have a, an empty page below the navigation, but it's holding the topic banner, whatever you made, and it's also holding the uh, horizontal navigation. Now I have, you know, home and about portfolio, and you only have four or three links um, to your pages unless you're going to make more pages, and you can do that if you want. So to get started on this, we're going to go into Text Wrangler. I'm going to make a video for the HTML and then make a, a separate video for the um, for the CSS. So um, here's what I have so far, and here's what you have. If you go in the HTML, um, you have your banner, and then you have your your navigation. Oh, let me get rid of this here. I think that's what you have. You have a UL, an unordered, unordered list, and then you have links that are all in a horizontal row. And the reason they are, here's your closing of your UL tag, here's the closing of the body and the HTML. Uh, and then the CSS, you have just for, oh, I got more stuff in here. Just for um, the body, let me get rid of everything here. Bear with me. Okay, so again, I just you have maybe the body right there, and then you have the uh, navigation and the a tags and all that. So that's again, that's what you have, and that should it should look something like this. All right, just the banner and the navigation. Now, let's go on from there. Um, so we're going to always do the HTML first. And right now we have the, here's the body tag. And the first thing we have in the body is that banner. Okay, I'm using a JPEG, you might have a PNG. Um, you never want to change, like take the Photoshop file, which is the file that you created it in, the banner, and it's called the PSD file, and then just change the PSD to PNG. It doesn't work, that you can't do that. It doesn't, the computer's gonna question you, like what, I can't read that file. It's supposed to be a PSD and yet you named it a PNG. You need to go file, save for web in Photoshop, and it will make you a PNG file from that file. But you just can't change the name of it and think it'll work. So I've seen a number of people do that in this class, and you want to watch that. Just go into Photoshop, go file, save for web, and you can choose what kind of file type you want to make a copy of it. So it'll keep the PSD, but it'll also give you a copy as a PNG. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to build a box model. So here's my body tag. 
Again, body means the whole page. Here's my banner. I'm going to start to build a, a box model. And the first thing we need to do, if you remember in the box model, is we're going to use a div tag. And we're going to give it ID names for these little boxes. First of all, we're going to make the big box called container. OK? And the container is going to hold everything on our page. So it's the first thing that goes just after the body, just inside the body tag right here. And then we're going to scroll down. And here's the closing of my body right here. We're going to close off that container. So it's a slash before the word div. OK, and that closes the container box. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to build little boxes inside this larger container box. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to build a banner box to hold your topic banner. Div ID equals banner. OK? And again, right below the banner tag, the IM image tag holding the banner, we're going to close off that box. And then we're going to um, make a box to hold our horizontal navigation right here. OK? So I'm going to go up here just before the navigation. And I'm going to say div ID equals, and we'll call it navigation. OK? Notice that the UL and the designing of the horizontal navigation is using this word nav. We're actually going to use another word just for the box holding it now called navigation. And the computer will be able to distinguish between the word navigation and the word nav. OK? So I'm going to go below the, the, um, the unordered list right here. And I'm going to close off that navigation box we just made. All right? Now, right below that, we're going to have a main area and then a uh, right side area. So I'm going to call, I'm going to make another box to hold our main area, div ID equals um, main. OK? And I'll hit the return key a couple times and then just close off that box. There's nothing in it yet, but there will be. And then I'm going to go below that. So that's the first thing in the HTML. And we're going to float both the main box and this other one called right side. So right below this main box, right below where I closed it right here, um, I'm going to open up another box or make another box. Div ID equals right underscore side. I don't like to use empty spaces. Sometimes computers, again, have issues with empty spaces in names of things. Hit the return key three or four times. It doesn't matter. And then close off that box. And notice I'm doing everything inside. Here's that closing of the large box container. I'm doing every side, everything inside there. So the last thing we're going to do is we have a main area, a right side, and then we're going to have a footer. So we're going to say div ID equals footer. And footer is just an old web term that's been around forever. It just means the bottom of the page. And I'm going to close that off. Now we're going to start filling these boxes with things. Okay? So the first thing I'm going to do is we've got we've got the banner container. Let me just let me just um save this, Command S, and then um, I just want to update this. See how it hasn't changed, OK? And again, we're going to do all the HTML. Now, as we do the HTML, don't really even look at this yet. You know, wait till, wait till we've put in some CSS, and then it will start to lay out properly, OK? So when you're, when you're writing this and you're thinking, oh my gosh, this is an issue, don't consider it an issue yet until we add CSS to really make those boxes a certain width and all that. So um, go back to my coding here. We're going to go into the main area. And if you look at, um, the page that we're creating, so we're going to deal with this area right here. We have an image, we have a subheading, that could be maybe an H1, H2 tag. And then we have paragraphs. We have two paragraphs of Latin text. And you'll, again, you'll, you'll replace this Latin text with real content text. But we're going to put this stuff in the HTML in the main area first. And then we'll put an unordered list of links and then design it you know, in the CSS. So let's go ahead and do that. 
So uh, I'm going to go in the main area. Here's my cursor just blinking there. And I'm going to say IMG, IMG SRC equals, and that's my image tag that I'm going to um, place there. And eventually I'm going to float that thing. So I need a I need a class name for that image. So the computer will only recognize this name as this as this uh, particular image. And that way if I have other images on the page, I can do different things with them. And I can separate out this image with this class name. So I'm going to say class equals pick one. Okay, and again, it says pick one, the computer will go, oh, pick one, you mean this specific image right here. Okay, what do you want to do? And every other image on the page will not be affected. Okay, that's what's so important and so powerful about that. So, I'm going to hit my return key. I've placed my image. I haven't, I haven't floated it yet. That's CSS. And I'm going to put a, a subheading. So, I'm going to say H1. doesn't matter which H's you use. Oops, sorry. And I'm going to say um, place subheading here. Really he heading, but I'll say subheading. And I'm going to close it off. And again, you can use any H tag you want. H1, 2, 3, up to 6. Uh, because in CSS, you can tell it how big to be anyways. It doesn't matter. Now, we have that. And then I'm going to hit the return key and I'm going to put two paragraphs. Now again, I'm going to, my, my, I myself is, are going to learn, are going to uh, place uh, Latin text there. So I'm going to um, do the P tag, hit the return key a couple times, close off the paragraph just like that. And I already have um, Lipsum open. So I can go to Lipsum and again, you're going to have real content text. You're going to, but you can use, uh, you know, Latin text uh, for a while while you make maybe watch this video and then just replace the real text with the Latin text with real text. So I'll go back to my coding. I'll paste the Latin text like that. And again, we have two paragraphs. So I'm going to um, highlight everything in the Latin text. And then I also want to include the P tags in that. Copy it. Put my cursor. And I'm still in the main area paste it again so this way I have two paragraphs alright and that filled up that area now if you look at it again it's it's not going to be pretty okay it doesn't even know where the image is so I'll find an image that we don't even have the name of the image here so um, I will look for that give me give me just a second here pick one dot J, jpeg so I have that in the same location so I'm going to use that one and you'll pick a picture about your topic pick one dot uh, jpg okay and that is in the same location same physical location as this web page so it just needs the name okay and I'll save it and I'll update it and it should look something like that. Again, pre-boring, no styling whatsoever, but all in sequential order, the way we want it. So, um, let's go ahead and add, we have another area here called right side that's not showing up. And we're gonna add to that. So I'm gonna go um, in the HTML, I'm still in between the body tags. And here's that right side area that we don't have anything in. Now, if you look at the right side area, let's see if I have it up um, right here. You'll see that we have a subheading called more information, and then we have links, clickable links, running in vertical fashion. Okay, and then we have a border, a dotted border, and that, that'll be all done. This will be all designed in, in uh, CSS, but what we'll do is we'll put a heading in this area called right, right, right side. And then we'll put uh, an unordered list with 10 uh, things. And it will look terrible until we uh, add CSS to design it. So let's do that. 
So we're going to go down to, um, oh, let me go down to the other one here. We're going to go down to the right side. And again, the first thing we're going to do is put a, a subheading there. So let's use an H2 tag. And I'll just say subheading here. You're going to, or I'll, say, I'll say more information. Or interesting links or you know whatever you want to put you can put doesn't matter to me so I have an h2 tag I have closing of the h2 tag again I'm inside the right side box and then I'm going to do an unordered list so it's ul that tells the computer I'm going to make an unordered list and then I'm going to make an unordered list that's clickable so I'm going to make one list item with an a tag inside of it and then just copy and paste that you know eight or nine ten times and uh, change things out so um, li and then a and a ref and then equals and we're going to put the number sign in the quotation mark until we have a specific page to go to or web web address to go to and then um, we're going to put the word that we're going to click so I'll say uh, link one and then we're going to close off the a tag and then close off the li. Again, we have a nested a tag inside an li list item tag. Okay, so we have one done. And um, now the one thing I didn't do, what I always like to do is, let me go down here and close off the ul before I forget. Okay, I always like to open a tag and close it just to make sure to remember that I closed it. But here's, a, here's one of the links already done. I'm going to highlight it and copy it. And then hit the return key and keep going command V and pasting. Let's see, link one, link uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's do let's do two more. Nine and ten. There we go. Okay, so then we now we have ten links all set to go. Now again, if I save this and then open this in a browser, you'll see that is in no way looking like I want it to look. Okay, um, but the next video, um, we will design all of this and get it looking just like this. Okay, so that is in the next video. Thank you.